Captioning short form content is super important these days because it keeps people engaged. It allows people to watch if they don't have their sound on. It makes it more accessible. However, not every platform has auto captions right now and that is Womp womp. Like YouTube Shorts, which still does not have an auto caption function, but captioning YouTube Shorts is still super important. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add auto captions to YouTube Shorts using an online video editor that's super easy to use and will caption your video in just a couple clicks. So just click the first link in the description to meet me at Kapwing, the online video editor with the auto caption function and let's get into it. Okay, cool. So clicking the first link will take you to Kapwing, the online video editor with the auto subtitler we're gonna be using. And I'm just going to click sign in. So I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to put in the video that I'm gonna be using. You can either upload your own just by dragging it in or you can paste in a link to something like a TikTok video. So here is my video. This is one I actually posted on TikTok first. You can see it doesn't have the watermark because Kapwing takes off the TikTok watermark if you paste in the link. And so now what I can do is I can go over to the subtitles tab on the left here and then click generate subtitles and it will automatically generate with the exact timing of your speech. Okay, cool. So now it has generated the subtitles. And as you can see here, if I play the video, it's going to go automatically with the exact timing of my speech. You can go ahead and change the subtitles here if you would like. So I can change this to on the bottom warlock if I wanted to, to make it relevant to my, uh, what my actual video is about, which is D&D spellcasting classes. Yes, I'm a big nerd. I was using a trending audio, so it does initially say page on the bottom. However, I can customize it for my own video. So I can go through and change anything just by doing that. I can also change the timing of certain subtitles by moving my seeker um, to part of the video. So let's say I wanna make this subtitle that says next longer all the way out here. All I have to do is move my seeker there, find the subtitle under the transcript, and then move to the set to current time on the right side of the screen. If you want the subtitle to go later in the video, click that and you can see that now the subtitle is there for the whole time. Or if you want it to be shorter at the front, you can move your seeker and then click the set to current time in the middle of the clip, boom, and then now it is shorter. You can also change how many words are in each subtitle by moving this character per subtitle uh, slider, and this will decide how long your subtitles are. Finally, when you have a subtitle highlighted, you're also able to go to the animations tab right here in the top right, and then you can add on any of these animations. So here's an animation where it will go word by word as I speak them with color. You can also use something like reveal if you don't want everyone to know the words before you're saying them. And that's really cool that that just takes a couple clicks and adds a lot of dimension to your video. You can of course go back to the edit tab and change the font, the size, the color, anything like that. It's really super, super simple. Then you can just click the export project button in the top right. And then once it's done, you can just click the download file button and now you can upload to YouTube Shorts. I will say that I would just recommend adding over any text so that YouTube can pick up on those keywords in the title and concept of this video. But then that's about it. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful in giving you guys a platform to auto caption your YouTube Shorts. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and keep up with other tips and tricks like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.